Hi everyone, welcome back. So today, uh, today what we are going to do is we actually created a zip file in our previous video using Apache Commons compressor or something. And then in this video we are trying to unzip that. So here, if you are going to the line of 17 or yeah, 17, 19 or something like that, you can see that I just created a test zip, and after that, I added a test txt document into that. That is the thing we did in our last video. So what I'm going to achieve in this video is like I need to unzip that. So I'm going to create a public static class where static void or something that just unzip 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 file or folder water and inside that we will add our our business logic so basically in our previous video we already did and um, we already described this is the way we need to include apache commons commons compass so after that we added some classes uh, i mean the instances here to create the zip file so right now the next step we need to unzip so for unzip probably i will use the same try catch block approach since so i have try block i have to catch block so here i have an extra things here and here i am going here code um, every format code is fine everything is fine right now and we are going with the, the remaining thing so zip part chief input stream so in this file we use output stream so here we are going to use input stream so that's the only difference uh, here inside this one this is the only difference so here input stream input stream archive and it's asking for adding that particular input okay and here i think it's fine and file input everywhere if you are in input stream you just make it as an input stream that's it so new buffered input stream so basically inside this one we need to capture something so i need to use not only really this one so also i need to add buffered input stream that will wrap this file input stream so usually in any file operation we usually use this prepared approach so that, that that's uh, i'm using the same approach here so so zip archive entry here zip archive entry you already different zip archive entry here so what is going to happen here is simple i just just to define a zip archive entry here and I, in, in my previous things i just define here it's but in this case i am retrieving from my zip file so i don't need to define that here just need to have an instance variable of zip archive entry so that's also done and next is the Concept here. So if I have 
I need to define a while loop here because archive dot get next zip entry or something is there to get the zip file. So if I am as if I have multiple zip file here, I mean if I have multiple zip file here, I need to retrieve one by one that can be done using the not okay so here is the thing so zip archive entry i will only add one zip archive entry here so if you have multiple zip archive entry you need to start everything for that one you need to have a uh, while loop so in while loop each item each item and okay so what i'm going to do is not each item this is the thing that i define here so here archive archive then get next get next zip entry okay so the other things i'm going to do is if zip archive entry archive dot get next zip entry is not is equal to none i'm going to extract that so the other things are very simple just a system dot out to statement or if you have some logs or something you can just print out that name and get method or something like that then you can new file and copy from that so the remaining things we will do in our next video thank you for watching have a nice day